Preparations are underway in Gaza's Rafa for a very different Ramadan this year. The Muslim fasting month is coming amid severe shortages of food and warnings of famine. Um Sahib Abu Jabal now lives in a tented camp in the southern city. It is not like other years when the Ramadan table has different types of food. This year, God knows if we can find the food. Many people will be fasting and won't find food to break their fasting. Nevertheless, she said they were insisting on putting up decorations and celebrating. The latest conflict in Gaza began after thousands of Hamas fighters stormed into Israel on October 7th, killing some 1,200 people according to Israeli tallies. But Israel's relentless bombardment of the enclave has drawn increasing alarm across the world. The growing risk of famine is threatening to add to a death toll that has already, according to Gaza health authorities, passed 31,000. Efforts at securing a ceasefire have stalled. The conflict is also looming over the usually festive holy month in Jerusalem. Tens of thousands are expected every day at the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, one of the holiest sites in Islam. The area, which is also sacred to Jews who know it as Temple Mount, is a long-standing flashpoint for trouble. Thousands of police have been deployed around the narrow streets of the old city, where the usual Ramadan decorations have not been put up. Israeli police say they've been working to ensure a peaceful Ramadan. Stall <laughs> owner Hisham al salami said people don't want to buy anything and no one is celebrating. This year, he says, there is no joy for Ramadan.